seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one chamber pressures are nominal. As you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Nominal power and telemetry. Really awesome views there on your screen. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And great call that we have passed through Max Q. That is the largest dynamic pressure that the vehicle sees during flight. MVAC engine chill has started. Now, in about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. That will be main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second stage engine startup one. And then shortly after that will be fairing deploy. Main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of those MVAC engines that you're seeing lit up on your screen. That helps to slow the stage down. As it prepares for stage separation, that's where the first stage separates from the second stage. First stage will make its way back to Earth, and the second stage will continue on its journey with SES-1, or second stage engine startup one, and that's where we ignite the MVAC engine on the second stage. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And as you just saw on your screen, we just had main engine cutoff from Miko, stage separation, SES-1 with on your right hand screen, you can see the MVAC engine igniting and we did have confirmation of fairing deploy as well. Now what you're looking at on your screen on the left hand side is a view from the first stage and we just saw those grid fins deploying. Those grid fins help to guide the first stage as it makes its way back down to its landing zone. And again on your right hand screen, that is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. So far, looking good on a nominal trajectory so far. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Now with first stage making its way back to Earth, it will complete a couple more burns. First will be the entry burn, and that's about two minutes away, or a little over two minutes away. That will be where three of the nine M1D engines reignite. That helps to slow the stage down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And then the final burn for the first stage will be the landing burn. That's just a single engine burn preparing the vehicle to touch down, again, attempting to land on our drone ship today, a shortfall of Gravitas.
Now, if you look at the bottom left-hand screen, bottom left-hand corners of your screen and the right-hand corners of your screen. Both stages are following nominal trajectories. You can see the speed of each vehicle, the first stage and the second stage, as well as the altitude. So you can see the second stage on your right-hand screen is still climbing in altitude, while the first stage is now starting to make its way back down to Earth. Just as a reminder, if you're just now tuning in, this is our 54th overall Starlink mission, and we will be sending 53 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. We are just about 30 seconds away from the entry burn on the first stage. And that is three of nine engines reigniting to help slow the stage down. Stage one FTS is safe. Stage one entry burn startup. And with that call out and visual confirmation on your left hand screen, the entry burn has begun on the first stage. This should last just about 20 seconds long, 20 to 30 stage seconds. Stage one long. entry burn shut down. And there you can see as the engines shut down, Both that stages concludes. continue to follow nominal trajectories. That concludes the entry burn and also good callouts for nominal trajectories. And we're just about a minute away from stage the two FTS is safe. From the landing burn beginning on the first stage. Again, that is a single engine burn, the center E9 engine preparing the vehicle to touch down on our landing zone. Again, today is a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one transonic. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And with the landing burn beginning on the first stage, let's watch as Falcon 9 attempts to land on a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And great and news, back down. as you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This marks the 126th landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. Nominal orbit insertion. This is the 54th overall Starlink mission and 33rd launch of the year, and we just heard confirmation of good orbit on the second stage. We did hear the call out for second stage engine cutoff. So stage two is now carrying 53 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And there's a great live view there. Be sure to check out SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.